So Android 10 is still not on a lot of phones, but we all know one thing, Android 11 is coming. Google is obviously working on it. And while we have no idea what the features will bring, there are certain features that Android 11 must bring and not just Android 11. Some of the features I'm going to talk about are not present in custom skins like Mi UI, Realme UI, Oxygen OS, One UI, you get the idea. So if you're using any of these skins, I'd suggest you to watch this video till the very end. Now let's talk about the features Android 11 must definitely bring. So starting off, one of the most underrated features of iOS is the system level undo feature. So the shake to undo gesture was always present in iOS, but it wasn't very, how do I put it? Cohesive. Well, iOS 13 brought better gestures for this. So in iOS 13, you can just swipe left with three fingers on the screen to undo text and swipe right with three fingers to redo text. And like I said, it works everywhere, be it WhatsApp, Twitter or Instagram or any other app. In fact, it even works for things other than text in supported apps like say mail. In the mail app, if you have moved an email to the wrong folder, you can just do this gesture and undo it. So yeah, trust me when I say that it's a super useful feature Android 11 must bring. There's no such undo feature in Android and it'll be great if Android 11 brings this feature natively. I mean, this is a feature that's not present in any other Android skins. So yeah, Android 11, stock Android should take the lead on this one. Okay, so the next big feature Android 11 must bring is an airdrop-like cross-device file transfer. I mean, we have been wanting this since so long and you know what? Some of the manufacturers have implemented this feature. There's Mi Share, Realme Share, Oppo Share and Vivo Share which work with each other just like AirDrop and as you can see, this works really well. So it's high time Android 11 had this feature too. That would work with all Android devices out there and well, it looks like it'll finally be here. See, Google was testing a feature called Fast Share with Android 10 but that did not make it. Now a report from XD has revealed that the airdrop like feature in Android will be called nearby sharing. This will use Bluetooth to initiate a handshake between devices and then transfer files over a direct Wi-Fi connection similar to airdrop. Well from the screenshot it looks like Android 11 will definitely have this feature so good news guys. Dark mode finally arrived with Android 10 and it's Obviously, one of the big highlights of the latest Android update, but you know what? The dark mode on Android 10 feels like an unfinished product. And that's mainly due to one feature missing, the ability to schedule dark mode. I mean, it's pretty obvious and almost every other skin brings the option to automatically turn on the dark mode at sunset and turn off at sunrise. There's even an option to set your own timings. Heck, not just different skins. There's even an app that lets you schedule the dark mode on stock Android devices. I mean, how tough could it be? So yes, dark mode scheduling should be present in Android 11 and Google while you're at it, make sure that every single app of yours and third party app has the dark mode. And yeah, also some nice wallpapers, dynamic icons that go dark with the dark mode would be pretty nice. Every single platform out there has a native screen recorder built in. Oxygen OS, Mi UI, Realme UI, Color OS, One UI, you name it. And most of these platforms support internal audio recording with it. So honestly, it's high time stock Android had this feature too. In fact, Android in its beta stages had a pretty early version of a native screen recorder, but again, it did not make it. So in Android 11, Google must include a screen recorder that supports high resolution, high FPS recording, internal audio support, the ability to use the front camera while recording for streams. See, native screen recording is such a small yet very important feature and Android 11 must definitely have it. Stock Android does screenshots, all right, even letting you edit the screenshots quickly. But to tell you honestly, it's nowhere close to the functionality you get on other Android skins. First of all, almost all Android skins out there support scrolling screenshots, a super underrated feature that I use often and I'm sure you guys do as well. Now, Google has confirmed that they're working on this in Android R, basically Android 11, so, so yeah, I'm positive. Second, some Android skins even let you take partial screenshots. Take the new Realme UI, for example. You can just press hold with three fingers and swipe down or up to take a partial screenshot. Way easier than taking a screenshot and cropping it, right? Now, third is not something that many phones have, but I remember on some Asus phones, there was an option to change the screenshot file type from PNG to JPEG, and that could be handy to some people. So yeah, overall, Android 11 must include scrolling screenshots, partial screenshots, and hopefully more options when it comes to screenshots. Well, Google, you know what to do. Mm -hmm. 
Android 10 fixed the stupid pill gestures from Android 9 and yeah, I'm gonna call that stupid. But is the Android 10 gestures perfect? Well, I don't think so and a lot of people agree with me. Let's check out this Reddit thread I have listed in the description. A lot of people have problems with the way the back gesture comes in the way of the slide out menu. I mean, you can still access this menu by peeking and swiping, but it just doesn't feel right. So how about MIUI's implementation? In MIUI, the back gesture does not work on the top third of each side of the screen so that you can open up those hamburger menus. And that's not it. Some customizability would be nice. A lot of people like the hold the back gesture to switch to the last tab. And a lot of people want more options like, you know, how the Fluid Gestures app lets you use gestures like swipe up from the right bottom to open the notification shade and hold it to open quick settings directly. And it's totally customizable. You can set any app or activity to it. Yeah, it's pretty good. To be honest, I don't think Android 11 will bring all of these changes to gestures, but I just hope they make it better. Features are good. Yeah, they're great, but there are some things in Android 10 that need fixing. Most importantly, the annoying open by default option. See, Android has had this for years. For example, you could set Twitter links to open by default in the Twitter app, Instagram links in the Instagram app, you get the idea. Now, previously it was simple. You tap always and that's it, done. Android 10 messed it up. Now, when you tap always, you take it to this open by default settings. Now here you have to tap the open supported links button and then press open in this app. Yeah, just some unnecessarily annoying work. I'm just hoping that Android 11 fixes this. It's super annoying. Now, that was a big one, but there are a couple of other minor things that need fixing with Android 11. How about Bluetooth not turning off when AirPlay mode is turned on? Well, that would be handy, right? Uh, reports say that Android 11 will bring this, so that's good news. Next up, how about a native one-handed usage mode? I mean, most skins have this, but a nice native implementation would be great. Well, Android 11 is still some time away, but these are the features it must have. But is there anything that I missed out on? Tell us in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. By the way, when do you think Android 11 will arrive on your phone? 2021, 22?